I'm cooking a six pound piece of pork shoulder. This half of a shoulder is called a picnic roast and the other half is called a butt roast. Either cut works great. I prefer a boneless cut for this recipe because it has more surface area. I'm going to cure the meat overnight in a mixture of one cup of sugar and three quarters a cup of kosher salt. Before cooking, you want to thoroughly rinse the salt and sugar off of the roast. Rinse and dry your roasting pan as well. Put the roast back in the pan and sop up any excess liquid. Now I'm going to show you how I make smoked meats without an actual smoker. Place a ramekin in the baking pan to which you will add liquid smoke. This is just one brand available at my grocery store and I'm not particular about it. Put three tablespoons of liquid smoke into the ramekin. Then add a quarter cup of water. Cover the pan with foil and we're going to slow cook it for five hours at 250 degrees. And now I've got five hours to be productive. Or I could just... Oh my God. After five hours, take the roast out of the oven and remove the foil. Yuck, it looks like a giant fetus. But don't worry, it's gonna look delicious. Pour the liquid smoke over the roast and into the pan. Increase your oven temperature to 300 degrees and put the roast back in uncovered. To create a nice spark on the meat, you want to cook it at 300 degrees for at least an hour and a half. And to give it a deep smoky flavor, you want to baste it with pan juices about every 15 to 20 minutes. Wow! This roast will taste incredible as it is, but we're going to take it to the next level by adding a glaze of brown sugar. I probably used half a cup of brown sugar or so to coat the roast. I poured some of the pan juices into a separate dish because I'm going to make some gravy, but you don't have to do that. What you do need to do though is add some of those juices to the brown sugar coating. This will help the sugar melt instead of burning when you put it under the broiler. For the final step in making this roast, set your oven to broil. You may need to move the oven rack closer to the element. Place the roast under the broiler and keep a very close eye on it for the next few minutes. I actually just leave the oven door open while I'm glazing the roast. Within a couple minutes, the sugar will melt and start to bubble. And when it begins to smoke, it's time to pull the roast. And that's how I make a brown sugar glazed oven smoked pork roast. It's super moist and tender and it tastes like candied bacon. This is one of the most wonderful dishes I know how to make, so I really wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.